fishy internet peoples just got a box in from Dan's fish gonna open it up and see how they look I'm excited notice I covered up the address because I don't want anybody sending me candy because <laughs> I know all of you would send me candy if I like left my address showing and we just wouldn't want that so And am I going to be able to do this one-handed? Probably not. Got to set the camera down for a minute. Alright, so I got it open. This is so exciting. Very warm heat pack. Dan always does an excellent, excellent job packing. Uh, lots of insulation. Oh my gosh, and there's the babies. And I am not going to try to pronounce them, but that is what they are. There's one little guy in there. They're going into a 29 gallon that's been set up for a long time. Just has some pygmy quarries on the bottom of it. There's two. Um, used to have my Kubota reservoirs in it, but I moved in them in the 40 gallon. So it's been kind of empty with just the quarries in it for a while and they all look good and they all feel really warm so I am going to get them out and start acclimating them and I will get back to you so here's one of the new killifish little tiny little guys really cute um they're in a 29 gallon tank. Oh, there's one. I would normally quarantine, but the only thing in this tank is some pygmy quarries. And I have no idea how many because they are constantly breeding and having babies. I have to be real careful when I clean the bottom of this tank or I'll suck little babies up. So, and this tank has been set up. It's a 29 gallon. And it has been set up for about two years. Oh, there's some up in the corner. And so I'm hoping these guys will do good in here. There they are. Now there's 12 of them. But they're small and they kind of disappear. And they're really, 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 really cute. So, and my battery's going dead. Yay. Okay, back with a fresh battery. Let's see if I can remember where I left off. There's a few of the fishies up by the top there. I don't know if you can see them or not. But yeah, anyway, this is 29 gallon tank. It's been set up for two years, a little bit over two years. And I used to have my Kubota IRAS boards in here, but I moved them into the 40 gallon. So this tank has just been, let me show you the tank more. It's just been mostly for the um, pygmy quarries have been colony breeding in here and I've been pulling a lot of plants out of here to start other tanks so that's mostly what this tank is I don't think I've ever showed anybody before there's a few shrimp and the pygmy quarries and now I got these little tiny killifish in here which I hope will breed um, there was a large amount of the pennywort that was coming out of the back of the tank and covering the window and dropping down behind the tank about three feet just this massive massive plant but I cut it all off because um, killifish I had to put the glass lid back on the tank so I cut all that off but I left the roots which are right there 
this big mass of roots because I figure it will grow back and also I'm hoping that maybe they'll use it like a spawning mop. If I don't get any babies, then I'll probably put an actual spawning mop in here and pull it and see what I can do. But yeah, so that's the tank. There's one of the fishies. Where did he go? But I'm going to go ahead and end it here because they all seem to be hiding right now mostly. There's a couple up by the top. But yeah, I love the little fishies. If you see little stuff floating in the water. Oh, there's some baby shrimp in there too. But um, I just fed them some microworms a little bit ago, so there's some floaties going on. And everybody who has not watched my last video and um, and commented to enter in my giveaway, you need to watch that. And everybody have a great weekend coming up. And I will see y'all later. Bye.